Hey guys, it's Bitcoin Schmickoin here with another update for Bitcoin Magazine's video analysis. We'll start off by looking at the monthly candles, the weekly, the daily, the four hour, and concluding with the hourly time frame. Uh, just to point out on the monthly time frame, we do see this dashed level here created by this swing high. And so far it's holding support. You know, we're halfway through the monthly candle, so not a whole lot can be said for this on the higher time frames. But as we start to zoom in to stuff like the weekly, the daily, uh, it becomes a little bit more relevant. So looking at the weekly candles, um, we do see, uh, you know, quite a quite a retracement from this giant red candle we saw. Um, again, you know, we still have a few more days until the the weekly candle closes, but so far um, it's managed to rally right back above uh, previous support, which is this band of prices here. So as we start to zoom in, pay attention to this red band as it is uh, particularly relevant in our lower time frame market structure. Looking at the daily, uh, things are actually not looking half bad. Uh, we see nicely consolidating volume here. Uh, you know, the, the selling pressure has started to uh, taper off. And we're starting to do this drift that I mentioned in uh, some of my previous uh, videos where we're, we're um, you know, we're encountering this band of resistance here, this red band. And uh, so far, we're kind of just floating right through it. And when we look at the four hour time frame, uh, it gets pretty interesting because what we see here is we got rejected once, twice, three, four times. And ultimately, in order to break through this level, we had to see this giant impulsive move. Um, you know, we did see a retest, but ultimately the support failed. And now, as we start to drift through it for, you know, the seventh or eighth time, we're just coasting right through this level. Um, this sort of upward drift is often a sign of completely, not completely diminished uh, supply, but greatly weakened supply. Um, everyone who was going to short shorted here and then they shorted here and they shorted here. And now it seems like all the shorters are slightly exhausted. When we look at the ratio of longs to shorts uh, over on Bitfinex, we see that on this rise upward here, a huge amount of shorts have opened, but so far they're underwater. This is creating really interesting uh, conditions where we could potentially see a short squeeze. If we continue to drift up like this, we're going to start nailing these stops, right? So logical stops that people have if they're short, probably going to be here, maybe here, and ultimately up here. And if we continue this drift upward, we're just going to start taking out those stops. This market structure is um, very reminiscent of our macro breakout from our 4k to 3k price range where you know we had this strong band of resistance here uh you know multiple levels in here and you know we saw impulsive moves up uh and then they got rejected uh, we saw another impulsive move up it got rejected and then ultimately toward the end of the trading range we just drifted right through this which concluded with a gigantic short squeeze which shoved us to our new levels so it stands to reason that we're in, in a similar situation right we've been bound in this trading range for a month month and a half however you want to look at it and we've been rejected we've been rejected we've been rejected and now we're just sliding right up um, when we look at the 60 minute time frame uh, we do see that we're we're kind of bound within this um, supply and demand channel we also see this sort of rising wedge thing um, which could have us uh, breaking back down but uh, ultimately, you know, this isn't like a terribly large price target, but we could see uh, on the intraday chop, we could see, you know, maybe a retest of this weekly level or even a, uh, a ride back down here to test this four hour zone that we've outlined for several, uh, several of the videos now. But so far, this is looking very bullish. We're starting to see altcoins starting to drain out and it looks like there's a, f a flight to Bitcoin, which is, again, I can't repeat this enough. This is very bullish. This slow grind up is something that I've mentioned several times because when we see a slow grind up, that is a change of character in the market structure. And that means that bulls are in control here, right? The shorters are, are unable to short uh, the market down. Um, supply is just drying up, right? We don't see these large impulses anymore. Um, every attempt to push the price down is just easily pushed back up. And uh, pretty soon, we're going to be nearing these these uh, logical zones where stops are going to be triggered. And if we just get one good shove up, well, then we're going to clear stops and we could see a cascade of stops 
which could shove us upward. So let's talk about some upside price targets if that happens. Um, if we do clear, you know, we, we, if we do see um, a stop run, if we do see a short squeeze, uh, the immediate price target I'm looking at personally is going to be this weekly uh, swing high here. Um, we could see a ride up to 9,500, uh, might encounter some turbulence here at 9,200, but um, I would wager that there's quite a large amount of stops here. Everyone is looking to short this and the market is just grinding up. So if we stop these guys out, I could easily see uh, quite an impulsive move, possibly even through this resistance. Uh, that's what happened before uh, on our uh, macro accumulation. We saw a slow grind up. I mean, look at these weekly candles. They're just tight bars, and it just kept going up. Um, and we popped right through resistance. And then we did it again on lower time frame, on the daily time frame. Uh, we did it here, slow grind up, and then boom. And now we're doing the same thing again slow grind up and if this continues uh we're just going to pop right through this that's not to say the intraday time frame won't uh you know remain a little bit choppy that's not to say we won't see any more pullback to retest support but uh on the macro scale this is looking very bullish and if supply doesn't start to surface right about now well then these bears are going to be underwater quick so keep an eye out for um these approaching levels because the closer we get to this the tighter uh you know the the tighter the pressure is going to be on the bears to keep the price suppressed. And if they're unable to do so, then we're just going to pop right through them and we'll see a cascade of stop losses that shoves the price to new highs. Um, currently, uh, I'm looking at these levels here. If you know, if we can come back down here, find support, or maybe even see an impulse down here and retest the bottom of this supply and demand channel, that'd be great. Uh, you know, Don't get too eager to short this thing because this slow grind up is a strong indication that bulls are in, are, uh, are in control here.